the dark Pacific waters north of Japan. A giant megalodon slices through the deep. A super predator on the hunt. His bulk so massive, the search for food never ends. This is a shark that was so enormous, it could swallow a modern great white shark whole. Suddenly, his senses pick up a disturbance in the water. He locks on to a lone sperm whale, separated from his pod. The shark has a remarkable battery of senses. It can actually feel the whale moving through the water. Receptors in its nose allows it to pick up these tiny electrical impulses that are put off every time the whale moves a muscle. The Meg is able to size up its prey before it even sees it. The Megalodon skin was covered with tiny taste buds called denticles. These allowed it to taste through its skin, which helped it more easily find and identify its prey. The coloration of Megalodon was ideal for his hunting methods. His skin was darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. What this meant is if you were above the Megalodon looking down, you couldn't really see him. And if you were beneath the Megalodon looking up, you wouldn't be able to see him. His favorite hunting tactic is to come from below and behind his potential prey. As the Meg closes in on the whale, he descends in order to surprise him from below. When he's just below the pack, he changes direction and picks up speed as he turns upward. The jaws of a Megalodon are very similar to the jaws of a Great White. There were row upon row of teeth. The teeth located in the very front part were designed for grabbing the prey. The teeth behind were much more sharp and therefore were better designed for slicing. With sudden fury, Megalodon strikes. When it opens its mouth, the jaws literally come out of the mouth and those serrated teeth, both up and down, would have acted like a giant meat slicer. Rolling its eyes backwards and closing the protective covering over them, allows Megalodon to move in close without risking eye injury. Modern sharks have a remarkable way of protecting their eyes during an attack, and Megalodon would have had the same system. When Megalodon moves into bite, it will roll its eyes backwards and a protective membrane moves forward and protects the eye. But with its other senses in high gear, sight really isn't necessary once it targets its prey. Experts have discovered broken Megalodon teeth embedded in hundreds of whale bones found all over the world, attesting to the fearlessness of this vicious hunter. He targets the tail because that's the whale's only means of locomotion. That part of the body is very thin, and he bites deep into the vertebrae. But like modern sharks, his teeth are designed to break off and be replaced throughout his entire lifetime. Losing one tooth is no big deal when you have 300 more in your mouth that can replace it. This is no great loss for the Megalodon, who makes sure to only sacrifice its dullest teeth in battle. The whale's tail is nearly ripped off. It's not going to be useful in moving his body. The Brigmo Fisetter uses its flipper to steer. It is literally rudderless without it. There are 44 teeth in its jaws. The front teeth are as long as those of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Brigmo Fisetter sends a sonar signal for help. A blast of sound similar in range to a World War II submarine. He lowers his head and begins to send a signal of thumping noises down into the depths basically a cry for help. Like the active sonar used by submarines, the whale emits sound waves that bounce back when hitting a solid object. This sets coordinates for both sender and receiver. The advanced mammalian brain of the Brigmo Fisetter enables it to listen for a distress call while still engaged in hunting. These guys are actively hunting and seeking prey. This guy's designed to battle giant squid in the deepest parts of the ocean. He can handle his own. Super sensitive organs in the skull and jaw read the vibrations, creating a sound map. Instantly, the pack's leader, 
the bull whale uses its clicking vocal noises to tell the rest of the pod to mount a rescue mission. The sperm whale is one of the few predatory whales. He's not a lovable whale when we think of whales. This guy's got a massive set of teeth and a pretty powerful set of jaws. Several hundred feet above, the great shark senses a sudden change in the sea's rhythm. Subtle at first, yet unmistakable. The sensors in his nose pick up vibrations. He begins to feel a thud vibration. He can't figure out what it is. But the vibrations and thuds become much stronger. The Brigmo Fisetter uses its sonar to assess the situation. It knew that its pod member was in trouble. Now it knows why. Like the great whites of today, the Megalodon charges to inflict fatal harm all at once, minimizing the chances of being injured in a long struggle. Lurking in the shadows, Meg now waits for his prey to slowly bleed to death. But his keen senses begin to pick up trouble. He's suddenly hit with an enormous battering ram. The sperm whale hits him dead in the center of his body, throwing the Megalodon's enormous weight in a tumble motion under the ocean. The Megalodon's relatively primitive brain is too slow to react to the new threat. Before he can recover, a second sperm whale has come from the depth, and using that enormous head, rammed him like a freight train. The Brigmo Fisetters make quick strikes with their battering ram heads in hopes of driving the Megalodon away and avoiding a more savage close-range battle. He knows there's no way he can take on a pod of angry sperm whales. He's got to get out of there as quickly as he can. Megalodon does not need air and goes deeper where its attacker cannot follow. The sperm whales begin to circle looking for this Megalodon. They want to absolutely take out their vengeance on the animal that injured their family member. The Brigmo Fisetter uses its sonar to try to track the fleeing shark. The water's darkness isn't a problem, but hitting a moving target is a challenge. The whales normally use their sonar to find prey in the darkest parts of the ocean. But like modern killer whales and dolphins, they also use that sonar as a weapon. They narrow the beam and they can actually stun and in some cases kill smaller prey. Well, biting sperm whales could narrow that beam and direct it at the shark and that would absolutely interfere with all of its sensory organs. Sound travels four and a half times faster in water than on land. The Brigmo Fisetter is in luck. It hits the Megalodon, and the sudden piercing blast packs the force of a tidal wave. The Megalodon is once again the victim of its less advanced brain. It's stunned by the sonar strike and unable to react. The sperm whales now deploy their most deadly weapon. T-Rex-sized teeth. Individually, these whales are only a bother to something as large as a megalodon. But attacking in a pack, these whales act like overgrown piranhas, and they will tear the shark to pieces. The clever Brigmo Fisetter determines that the danger has passed and returns to tend to its mate. The sperm whales then gather around the injured whale to try to lend their support. They'll actually put their head underneath the sperm whale and try to lift him up to catch air. The Brigmo Fisetter is going into shock. As with all mammals, this is a dire situation. An injured sperm whale will never recover from such an enormous bite. He's going to slowly die. The Brigmo Fisetter sings a sad death song to its mates. The Megalodon hears it too. The Megalodon has never left. He's just moved off in the distance. His sense of smell is so incredible, he's able to track this dying sperm whale three miles away. By the time the sperm whale has died, his remaining family members have moved on, and the Megalodon will move in to begin the feast on the carcass. The mistake the whale made was not diving deep with its family. 
Even though it's a whale and they're huge, Megalodon is a whale killer. It failed to stay within the safety of the family and it paid the ultimate price. Megalodon has triumphed. But over time, even this 50-foot, 50 50-ton 50 monster would fall victim to the cruel mathematics of survival.